Karen manager says, I don't care if it's illegal. You drive when I want. Okay, OP. This is OK, OP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. And John, have you ever worked like, you know, like a, a real job where you have to like clock in and clock out and like their shifts and stuff? Done uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So I worked at Dunkin' Donuts. How was your Dunkin' Donuts experience? Uh, terrible. Um, I, wait, what was your, what was your role? Uh, I was, oh gosh, did I even, I don't even know what my role technically was. They kind of had to do everything, you know, like uh. you would run the register, like help get stuff. Um, and, uh, one time I was trying to make coffee like really nice and, uh, they pulled me to the side and started berating me because they're like, we do not care about niceness here. We care about ruthless efficiency. <laughs> Damn, John's trying to like make like the like the heart like, in the cups yeah. and like make the foam all nice. And they're like, John, just give them the crap Dunkin' Donuts coffee and send them on their way. My thought was like, oh, like, let me make like this customer like really happy. And like, maybe that'll, you know, like, oh, we got like a repeat customer or whatever. You know what I mean? But nope, I now guess I don't, not. Now I understand their business. Model. I guess not. Yeah, dude, working for those like <laughs> shift. Uh, we're, we're working for those companies where it's like shift oriented and it's like, you know, retail or yeah, food yeah. service can be just brutal. Yep. And uh, I have a story about exactly that. Uh oh. Karen manager says, I don't care if it's illegal. You drive when I want. You want to earn this minimum wage? Break the law. During my last few years of high school and early university years, I worked part time in a supermarket at the checkout department. Of course, you would see your fair share of Karens, Richards, Kevins, and entitled parents, entitled kids, etc. But no one in that store was more infuriating to deal with than the most recently hired supervisor. She was the kind of supervisor that would deny paid time off if you did not give four weeks notice, despite all of our contracts stating we would only need to give two weeks notice. But then when you tried to give four weeks notice, she said, that was so long ago. I do not remember you asking me. Oh, my gosh. At the time of this story, I had worked at this store for quite a few years. And every Christmas season, I would say the same thing to the supervisors. I don't have any plans. I'm not leaving town. So if you need me for extra shifts, just put me down whenever you need me. Just as long as I'm finished by 930 p.m., which is pretty freaking nice. Sick. Yeah, like yeah, great employee. Hard worker over here. Clearly, they knew I would not care if it was any day of the week, just a four hour shift or 11 hour shift. I was completely free with no plans, totally flexible and able to work mostly whenever, which is kind of a sad <laughs> statement too <laughs> it is i have nothing going on in my life but you know i mean if if you like like last night uh me and my girlfriend were saying like hey man if if uh you don't have a partner this is a good time to work a shift-based job because ain't no one want to work today oh yeah true because we're valentine's having like, the day. shortage right yeah. yeah and the and the work shortage yeah wait wait, wait what were you saying valentine's day <laughs> oh <laughs> true yeah work away your sorrows my only condition was that it be done by 9.30. This was because I had not yet gotten my full driver's license, and it was illegal for me to drive by myself without some kind of supervision between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. The store was open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., so out of those 14 hours, I just couldn't work point five of them. It was a good system and it led to me doing a lot of extra shifts with a lot of them being just last minute, but I didn't care because I wanted to make some money. Hey, early November, the new supervisor asked me about my December and January availability. And I said the same old song. You can put me down for extra shifts as much as you like whenever for any day, as long as I'm done by 9 30 PM. She asked why 9 30? And then I explained to her about my driver's license. She nodded and walked away. Mid-November rolls around and the December schedule was released. I was given plenty of extra shifts as per usual, but you might have seen this coming. I was scheduled for six days a week, which would have been all goods with me, except for the fact that five of them ended at 10 p.m. Five? Five. <laughs> the one thing she asked. She asked for one thing. You can even oh give her that. Oh, my gosh. I found the supervisor, and as soon as I saw the schedule, I reiterated that I cannot work past 9.30 p.m. The conversation went something like this. 
but but you can still work until 10 p.m. Uh, I can't or else I'd be driving illegally and I'm not going to do that. Yes, but there are plenty of other ways that you could get home. Uh, uh, like what? Uh, have your family pick you up. Uh, uh, no, they're in and out of town on business. Uh, you can take the bus. No, it arrives every hour, 10 to the hour. I'm not working until 10, then waiting outside in the dark alone until 10.50. What about Uber? I'm not working all day to spend it all on Uber to get home. Uber's expensive, man. It really is. Well, then you need to find someone else to fill in those shifts for you. Uh, nope. According to my contract, I don't. Uh -oh. Then she just walks away. I'm left there speechless. Later to that same shift, when she was the only supervisor around, she completely left me out to dry with a horrid customer who could not use the self-service checkouts to save his life and took it out all on me. Oh, I We've hate all, those people. Yeah, terrible. We've all seen horrible people like that, but this guy was particularly so bad. Coworkers, even those from different departments, kept coming up to me asking me if I was okay after dealing with that guy. Not my supervisor, though. After I got home that day, I was done. I sent out resume after resume and job websites. My mentality was, if I'm going to get paid minimum wage, I might as well do it somewhere better. Good for you, OP. Yeah. Within a few days, I had a retail store asking me to come in for an interview. Within the next week, I had my new job lined up and was ready to go. So I went back to the supermarket on my next shift and handed my two weeks notice. All my other supervisors were gutted that I was leaving. I'm not saying I'm some star employee, but I was always keen on extra shifts, barely took sick leave off, was so chill and was willing to do a lot of the side tasks that no one else wanted to do, like collecting shopping carts in the rain or emptying rubbish bins. And, and I just knew how to do a lot of stuff about the checkouts in general. But I was also gutted. I wouldn't be working with them anymore. However, working with that one terrible supervisor hurt more than working without the others. So I decided it would be best to leave. The day I handed in my notice, the bad supervisor wasn't working. I didn't see her until a few days later when she stopped me near the back of the store around a few other coworkers. I'm guessing she wasn't too happy she lost her de facto full-timer just before Christmas rush. She seemed a bit flustered, but she still had her fake smile on. So I heard you're leaving soon. Uh, me, cheerfully. Yep. Just in under two weeks. But you've worked here for quite some time. Any particular reason why you're leaving so quickly? Oh, oh. Let me rack my freaking brain. Me with the biggest grin I have ever had on my face. I already told you why. I'm not working those 10 p.m. shifts. It was beautiful. Within a split second of me saying that, her smile dropped and she just stared at me speechless. This time... It was her turn to walk away. You don't quit bad jobs. You just quit bad management. Is that the end? That's the end. Hey, wow. This is, that's awesome. Like, good for OP for good quitting. Good for OP. Dude, like having a bad manager is, is, is the worst. Is the worst. Is it's the worst. the worst. It makes it everything terrible. Um, and so don't put up with that, anyone. And just also, quit. and also like OP said, like, if I'm working one minimum wage job, then like, especially in today's world, like you might as well just go around until you find what, you know, go to the highest bidder, essentially yeah, go yeah. to the, the, the best situation. Yeah. Or get a bunch of jobs and try to, you know, negotiate a higher wage. Yeah. You know, OP probably could have gotten like a couple dollars yeah, like, an hour. I've extra. gotten 15 over here, but uh, people down the street offer me 18. So and I'm a hot do? commodity. What are we going to do? Um, but you know what else is a hot commodity? Oh, that sweet, sweet OKOP OK subscribe button. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify and TikTok. And if you want to be a real one, support us on Patreon. Oh, yes. Join Amanda Wilcombs, Connor Van Buren, Keegan Simmons, and Kathy Quigley. See you soon.